welcome you all to this SDG Media Zone in this second day of the General Assembly. So I am delighted to welcome you to the SDG Media Zone today. Uh, it is a pleasure actually to start this session with Maestro Andrea Bocelli, uh, who's accompanied by the Chairman Stefano Aversa. It is really an honor to have you all here. We're gonna have some time for questions at the end, um, but not, uh, not, not until we finish the session. So, uh, Maestro Bocelli, born in Italy. Uh, actually, today is September 20. His birthday, he was born on the 22nd of September of 1958, which means in two days, he's actually going to turn 58. So we're very, very happy to have you here in a very special day. Grazie, maestro. Maestro uh, Bocelli is a tenor. He has recorded more than 50 solo studio albums, both in pop and musical. But most importantly, New York has been his home for so many times and in so many places. He's performed everywhere from Madison Square Garden to the Met. He's been in the happiest moments of New York, but also in the saddest. Uh, Maestro Bocelli actually accepted to perform in the funeral of the Twin Towers when you could actually still smoke, uh, feel the, uh, smell the smoke in those moments. So Maestro Bocelli, this is your home. Welcome to New York. I would like to actually uh, focus the conversation not so much on the musical uh, part of your life, but in your heart, in your philanthropy side. So the SDGs are the plan for the future of the, and the, uh, for the future of the people and the planet, and every social topic, be girls' education, health, HIV, belong to this global plan. You have you have done an incredible work within your foundation to advance the SDGs. Can you tell us a little bit more about the work of your foundation, particularly what you have done in Haiti? Well, uh, good morning to everybody. Thank you to be here to listen to me. Um, but okay, I'm lucky because uh, today I have next to me the chairman of the foundation. He can speak much better, better than me, and technically more precisely about the the the, the programs, uh, the work of the foundation. Uh, I, I leave the, the words to um, Stefano Verza. Thank you, Andrea. Um, the foundation um, has been started about five years ago, actually exactly five years ago. And the main objective uh, has been uh, to empower people. And, and the main project is in Haiti, actually, uh, starting with the dignity uh, of people in remote part of the uh, of the country, uh, giving them an education uh, with about now five schools with 2,500 kids that uh, are enrolled into it in places where schools were not there. So we start with three schools and uh, over time we convert in proper schools and they become over time also community centers also for the family and the village providing not only education, including computer rooms, including library, including um, a, a, a hot uh, meal for these kids, but also the water tower, sanitization, and some health uh, uh, program around it. Um, and um, this, this is, these are absolutely in line with the um, um, SGGs, and uh, particularly with no poverty and uh, better education. So. Um, thank you so much, uh, Stefano Aversa, who's the chairman of the Andrea Bocelli Foundation. Maestro, let me turn it to you. You just performed in the SDG moment, just before the opening, uh, uh, of, the, of, the opening of the General Assembly. You performed there. Uh, you got a standing ovation from every leader of the world. Can you tell us? Two things, what did you feel when you were performing to every decision maker in the world sitting in the General Assembly talking about something you care so much about? And secondly, what message would you like to deliver to all of them in, in your words? Uh, and okay. we can actually speak, you can speak Italian if you prefer so and then we can have a talk. Okay, I, uh, okay. I try in English before because the, the, the concept is very simple for now. Um, 
I had really, honestly, I had many experiences around the world. I sang everywhere already. But the, but this morning, the opportunity, the invitation was really incredible for me. And to be honest, I was very, very nervous, excited, and moved. Um, it, it has been also a little bit difficult to to decide what what to sing because it was the first time that some a singer performed in in that uh, in that uh, that in that place, no. And uh, and uh, finally, I decided for a most beautiful and famous and emotional page of uh, Italian music. This incredible area is called Nessun Dorma. For, and uh, yeah, it has been, luckily, <laughs> my voice was in good shape. And I, as usual, I, I get a gift all my best. And I hope, come si show, da aver lasciato, and I, and I left the, a, a beautiful memory of this moment. Yeah. And then, cosa mi ha chiesto poi? Cosa Ah, okay. You, you asked me also the message for the. <laughs> it's very difficult. I am only a singer, <laughs> and <laughs> the question is very difficult for me. It's a big risk to to answer, but the message is the same that I give always to my son almost every day. I say always them that the world is of the people that does, that makes, that, cre that creates something, not of, with, of uh, who speak only. That's all. Thank you so much. Um, I have a last question uh, for also an incredible work. I, I don't know whether you should actually go and check out the Andrea Bocelli Foundation, but I find fascinating what your foundation is doing with MIT, um, making use of innovation and technology to advance actually the situation of many people that are disadvantaged. Can you talk to us about it, please? Yeah, in brief, uh, we live in a world where uh, you can now drive a car autonomously at 60 or 70 miles per hour, completely autonomous. And in the same world, uh, you have a blind person that cannot walk autonomously at two miles per hour. So the dream of uh, Maestro Bocelli and the foundation is to enable uh, blind people to be able to walk start to walk in a closed or open place. So we have developed with MIT a couple of devices. Uh, one is a belt with sensor, radar sensor, short range uh, radar sensor similar to the one of a car. They vibrate and tell you, uh, tell you if you have to move right, left, or, or center to avoid obstacles. And another one is a, is a camera, not that dissimilar to the Google Glass camera that uh, allow you to walk in a closed space. The ultimate, the ultimate goal is actually to have something like a, a, an iPhone, a, a mobile device with a 3D, um, 3D screen where you can see uh, what you have in front of you and you will be able to walk and operate in a much more autonomous way. So just let me understand, this is a belt that basically would allow blind people to, sen by censoring, just to be able to walk. Exactly, see themselves. the obstacles and... I, uh, I say that deserves an applause. That's amazing. That's amazing, well done. Maestro, would you like to have like last words? I know that the time is running and that you have to go. Would you like to leave us with some words? In general, the best solution in these uh, cases for me is to sing, but <laughs> not to speak, especially in English. Are we ready? Are we ready for that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Since he said so. Okay. I do. I do it. Okay. Some uh, some line. Shh, silence, just for please. you. Yeah, I give you the microphone to Maria because it, it doesn't matter.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Maestro Andrea Bocelli. Thank you so much, Stefana Versa from the Andrea Bocelli Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us.